we have three major types of fats first is subcutaneous fat subcutaneous fat is what we can pinch is beneath the skin under the skin directly it accounts around 80 percent of total body fat second is visceral fat visceral fat also known as abdominal fat um, abdominal fat is metabolically active it means it plays important role in development of type 2 diabetes and other metabolic diseases um, it's around internal organs like kidneys uh, liver yeah, so it located in the abdomen in the stomach yeah, that's why it is called abdominal fat and this is location of abdominal fat and third type is intramuscular fat intramuscular fat is located between muscle fibers uh, here is um, uh, on skeletal muscles between skeletal muscles we have intramuscular fat it is also known as marbling in meat cuts you can uh, you can see this uh, white part uh, in the meat uh, but it's not visible in case of humans uh, in beef and uh, other mammals it can be seen as marbling but not in humans because in humans this fat deposition is microscopically why is so important why are we focusing on intramuscular fat this is important because it plays important role of development several diseases as an independent risk factor that's why it's so important it, it increases heart disease and atherosclerosis by 30 percent it increases Alzheimer's disease by 30 percent intramuscular fa fat increases risk of breast cancer prostate cancer and several other cancers by 15 to 20 percent so when we say it increases risk it means it increases risk independently in same weight persons not uh, obesity we all know that obesity increases risk of Alzheimer's disease cardiovascular disease type 2 diabetes uh, risk but uh, intramuscular fat deposition increases risk uh, this risk further it means independently for example it increases uh, insulin resistance and type 2 uh, type 2 diabetes risk 35 percent it's uh, quite high what is mechanism why uh, why it increases uh, risk of diseases uh, such high uh, main mechanism is inflammatory cytokines um, this intramuscular fat releases uh, inflammatory pro-inflammatory cytokines and it causes chronic inflammation and second is you know, free fatty acids now when uh, fat uh, when fat cells are broke down when they die they releasing fatty acids and these fatty acids act as free radicals and these free radicals can damage cell and dna that's a main problem um, now what is risk factors and in what population there is intramuscular fat and more abundant uh, risk factor is age in older it's more common obese people obesity is important risk factor sedentary lifestyle physical inactivity is important and male sex while in female generally there is more fat but subcutaneous fat is more common in females but and abdominal fat and intramuscular fat is more common among male so males are uh, increased risk of intramuscular fat deposition and high fat diet high fat diet also uh, risk factor for intramuscular fat and what we can do how can we uh, reduce or prevent intramuscular fat first is healthy weight and weight loss second is healthy diet with lots of vegetables fruits and less uh, fatty meals and exercise 20 to 30 minutes per day and if we ask um, aerobic or anaerobic exercise which is better for intramuscular fat loss aerobic exercise is much better and generally 
for um, weight loss and long-term weight loss aerobic uh, exercises are better uh, so aerobic exercise is recommended for um, reducing intramuscular fat now that's all i wanted to say uh, thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now